What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the Joseph Bad Podcast. I'm Rocco, and I got my co-host with me. Bernard Johnson, yeah. You got B-Lo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and we have a special guest with us today. What's you get, up? You can introduce yourself. I'm Alejandro Mata, most known as Mata Don't Miss, kicker for CU. Wait, look, look, look. That's, that's what you want from your kicker, right? You want, that is- Played at Jackson State for like a season. Yeah. Greatest Jackson State kick of all time, possibly. Yeah, that's Yo, a, wait, nah. It's a hot take. I, all right, I'm, I'm sorry I got to tell you this, though. Uh-huh. So, at Jackson State, is this even that went out last week, and uh, they, they have kicking tryouts. We in, like, week five. No way. And I'm like, oh, hey, yeah. we really miss my other. They, they call me about that. Like, I have friends on the soccer team, and they yeah. call me. He's like, hey, do you have any tips? I'm like, just do your best. Yeah. <laughs> just kick the ball. And I was, like, really sad because we got, we got a girl kicking on, though. Mm-hmm. I'm happy for her. Y'all making history. Yeah. No? Yeah. What you got? You know, or who y'all got? I don't know, because if, if they do tryouts, don't you think, like, that mean they look up for somebody? <laughs> so it's like, yeah. I mean, I know she kicked, but I can say it's, and it's because she, she hurt, too. She That's the reason why she's oh, kicking she for hurt? her. Yeah, you ain't see that big yeah, ass knee brace. She has a knee brace. Yeah. I hope nobody hit her. That's what I'm saying. But <laughs> she only she probably only going to do, like, kickoff, probably. Yeah. Because she got that big old brace on, bro. Yeah. All right, I'm going to start off with the first question, Mata. Ahead, so, you know, since you came to Jack stay with us, I want to say how you felt about the Celebration Bowl loss. It still, like, it still hurts. I'm not going to lie. Like, uh, you still think about it, too? All the time, dude. Like, just that drop. I'm not going to, like, like, you know, yeah. I love my guy Hayden, but. It was, like, right there. It was right there, bro. Like, we had, we had the win. But there's a lot of mistakes in that game that I remember, like not being able to stop the run and stuff like that. Yeah, I was I respect I respect Dion for still like even coaching that game because he could he already accepted the Colorado game, so he could have literally just left after that. Exactly. So I was hurt though because then the way Travis made that play at the end, I'm like, oh, oh yeah, I we know. have to win. I know. After I think that, that was the best game I've seen in my life, except yesterday. Yesterday was a good game. Yeah, yesterday was a really good game. Yeah. So that's how I was like. Dang. And then you made the time field goal too. Oh uh, yeah, the PAT. You know, Mike said you wasn't gonna miss it though. Who? My uh, Mike. Oh. He was like, Oh yeah, oh, Mata, yeah, yeah, I, know. Got, I saw his story. He's like, Mike, <laughs> Mata not gonna miss. Mata, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so how you feel like Deion Sanders impacted your life? Oh bro, big time dog. He's a great coach. Like, if I, if he, my high school coach was a great coach. Yeah. But Coach Prime, like, he just takes it to a whole other level. He's like, he's a dollar figure. He's a whole coach. He's like. He could be a lot of things in one different person. Yeah. Like, I feel like he changed our life to a certain extent. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, the podcast, it really he really helped the numbers. Like, every time we talk about him, he, he just gets us numbers. That's when everything just goes up. Yeah. yeah I like, feel that. I know I appreciate him, like, for real. But even coming to Jackson State. Yeah. yeah. From coming from Jackson to now, like, still being up under Dion, what what's different? Like, what do you feel like is different? Or uh, anything he – same, same Dion. It's the same same coach. He has the same mentality of dominating, even though like, it's a brand new team. But he still has that same mentality from like dominating to like the the first kickoff. Oh, and oh, and your boy, nice too. The freshman, I seen him. Uh, Mario. Yeah, yeah, I was like, oh yeah, he yeah. a dog. He gonna like, be nice. He, he's crazy, bro. I practiced. I ain't seen him like do nothing crazy, yeah. but yesterday, bro, holy crap. Oh, so, like, yeah. so you think he gonna start after this game? Oh. I don't know, cause Travis is coming back next week. Oh yeah, <laughs> but like having him, oh, Travis, and uh, what's number five name? Uh, Jimmy. Jimmy uh, Horn. I mean, yeah, yeah Jimmy Horn, right? Jimmy yeah, Horn. having them three though, I think that'll oh, be like good having them three, like probably Jimmy Horn in the, in the slot and have uh, Amari on the backside mm-hmm. or something. Cause bro, we got more depth than people think. Yeah. 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 But it's just probably cause the people, uh, like the cornerback number one. I'm like, oh yeah, he nice. Yeah. He he was locking uh Jerry Rice up to me. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about how y'all feel about that, but that's how I feel. <laughs> so, no, he, uh, what's the biggest difference between the swag and the Pac-12? That, that you've seen so far. That I've seen? Uh, from a kicker's perspective, they're definitely a lot faster coming off the edge. Like, for field goal, I know i got to be quicker to the ball. So, they're definitely a lot harder to, like, you know, stay composed and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about, like, the atmosphere, though? Atmosphere? Yeah. Ooh, not going to lie, Jackson was louder. You think so? Jackson Loud? Because Jackson, like, they, they have a bigger stadium. True. They have a bigger stadium. I, yesterday when we was in there, when there was, like, 50,000 fans, I was like, well, mm-hmm. you know, technically Jackson, you know, be around 53, 60, something yeah. like that. It's bigger. And the Sonic Boom, bro, that, I'm not going to lie, I miss the Sonic Boom. Yeah. 
Oh, hey, I gotta shout him out. Yeah, yeah I shout him out. Shout, shout out, out to Bull, bro. Bull, bro. I was that's how we was talking about it at the game yesterday. Yeah. I was like, uh, yeah, man, like the band. That's the only thing I missed about the atmosphere yeah, of the game. For real. And even the, I, I feel like the, uh, the clap thing and the clap that was hard. That's that's hard. That's <laughs> Stuff. Uh, I was talking to Jacob, who was a long snapper for Jackson as well. Yeah. You're like, bro. Oh, he transferred here too. Uh -huh. Yeah. I was like, bro, the boom shits on both of these bands combined. Bro. <laughs> I was like, bro. Man. Then it seemed like USC only brought like 20, 20 players. I know. I was like, damn. Like, damn. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was surprised. So, like, we, so was Colorado State your first game starting? Or your first game, like, mm. uh, first game here just kicking in? or Kind of. Like, I had the first. PAT against TCU. Yeah. But then after that, it was too. Far. So how so how did it feel? Like how did those making those two important field goals and uh at the Colorado State game? Like how did they feel? Uh, definitely nerve wracking. You know, going into those field goals, I was kind of cold, so because I, I didn't kick the whole first half. Um, so yeah, I was just getting tight. So I was just trying to make sure that I like trusted my technique and uh, stuff like that. I know you always do the thing. I'll be trying to mock Hello. you. Yeah. <laughs> you, you were, were you like more nervous for your first game here versus or uh, Jackson State? Definitely Jackson. You were more nervous at Jackson? Oh, yeah. Why? I, I feel like everything. I'm a freshman in my first college game. Oh, uh, true. That's yeah, true, yeah. true. True, 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 true. And you started off the rip. Exactly. Yeah, started off the rip. First yeah. game. Oh, yeah. I can see that. I can yeah. see the difference. I remember me and I need to, like against FAMU in a classic in an NFL stadium. Bro. Yeah. I would have I just assumed like it being a a bigger school, like bigger school, like known nationwide type. So like, I feel like me personally, I thought I would, me, I'll be more nervous here yeah. than at Jackson. Yeah, Jackson. But I mean, it's a, but like you said, it's kind of like the same atmosphere on, on, on some, like on a, on a kind of basic level, like people wise. Yeah. yeah. So, so like, oh, go ahead. Dude, was, was you, were you made, when y'all won that game though, was it like a sigh of relief? What's wrong? The Colorado State game. And then oh. you kind of had something to do with it. Yeah. Yeah, not even kind of you did. Yeah. That's why I know that tight end was nice, though. That's, I mean, Mike seven. Yeah, he's yeah. nice. He's, he's, and I heard he was like a walk-on last year, too. He was. I was like, yeah, he nice. I can yeah, see no, tight end for six. He you remind me of your favorite team. Uh, what was it? Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yo, no, uh, Mike is a great guy. You know, off and off the field, he's always working. Yeah. He, like, ever since I got here, I knew he was going to make it. Like he's gonna survive the roster change just because of how hard he worked. Yeah, I'm like, and he walked on last year. Exactly. So with that roster change, like, how did it like seem to affect the locker room? Like, did it like uh, seeing them in the players go? Like, how did they see? Like, how did uh, they feel? When I first got here, like in January, yeah, it was definitely a little bit tense. Like you could, you could, you could, yeah. It was like Colorado and then everybody else, and it was like, but then after like a while, we started like getting to know each other and stuff like that, and then we got we got close, you know. So like, what was your original reaction to like in the Colorado State game? Like when Travis got hit, what was your original reaction? I, like, I was so, like, you could see me in the background of the video. It, it's, I'm, hey. I'm going like this. I was like, bro, yeah. what the? but nah, I, I was mad. I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to go out there and fight the guy, but I know he was like way bigger than me. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I, I'm gonna. <laughs> but you, how you feel about the video they did together? Uh, it's nice, you know. Like that guy was receiving like death threats and stuff like that. Yeah. So after that, like I'm glad Travis did that. Yeah, I'm glad he did too, cause yeah. I'm like, jeez. Yeah, like it's part of the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It, I know it's a, like it looks like a dirty hit, but like he's he's gonna be out there. He's gonna get hit. I yeah, like, he yeah. he got him good. He got whack. Mm -hmm. Travis, you did get whack. I, I, I love like you, but you got like, whack. If it was like you know after the play after the fact, but it wasn't like a it was like to me it was like a football play, but like an old time football mm -hmm. play if you think about it. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't think they would have caught a flag like back in the day, but. It still was a dirty hit though. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Whatever somebody whacked you like that, like off, off the PAT. That's definitely a play, man. <laughs> rough, rough the kicker. Would you be like dramatic? Like you a flop a little bit? Uh, well, I used to be a soccer player, so I, I would <laughs> flop. flop. <laughs> so flopping is a part of. I, I won't try to sell the flag. That never worked. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, we didn't really get to speak on a lot of your uh, kicking skills because you know we kind of want to bring light to everybody that we uh. That we bring onto the uh, podcast and stuff, mm -hmm. and I was so like, 
skill wise, you think you think you could uh you could kick a sixty a sixty yarder, bro? Sixty? Like do what's the farthest you've kicked? Recently? Yeah. yeah. Uh fifty five. Fifty five. Like, like, but is it is it is it like coming up almost short? I was I was say is it is it like is it like coming up almost short or is 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 going through? I got like one yard to spare. Ah, yeah. So he's working though. He's working. Yeah, exactly. I definitely gotta improve that in the off season. Uh, and I I will say one of our last questions. Uh. Who do you think, in your opinion, is the greatest soccer player of all time? Messi. No, no, he didn't no, even think about no, it. No, no question at all. Mess with him a little bit, bro. Whenever he wins a World Cup, then we can make the argument back again. He did what he showed. Then he got. Wait, so he have no World Cups? Mm -mm. He has like international trophies, but he doesn't have a World Cup. Wow, okay. I didn't know that. I got one more question before we wrap this up. No, it's okay. it's actually two more questions. Okay. okay, the first question is, if you wasn't a kicker. What position you would play? Running back. I told you. I told you. I had told you. Well, why running back, though? Didn't you uh, play, like, running back in middle school? Or something nah. Or back? They wanted me to. Like, when I first started playing football, <laughs> yeah. I was, like, one of the fastest kids in the grade. And I was and I was a bit skinny. So, I was, like, I was like a little Dylan Edwards. Think about it like that. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is fast, though. I used to be quick as fuck. So, they wanted me to play running back or, like, slot receiver. And I was like, no, I'm not trying to get hit, coach. <laughs> <laughs> put, put me a kicker. Okay, and then the last question is before we wrap this up, mm -hmm. who's going to the Super Bowl in this year? Ooh. I like, know it's not your Ravens, but like you yeah. know, Dolphins gonna kill y'all probably by like nah. seventy points. I'm calling it right now. Two is gonna get hurt. Knock wow. on wood, but two is gonna get hurt. <laughs> this is even wood around you. <laughs> <laughs> now, like obviously, I don't want anybody to get hurt. Yeah, but like he has a history for injuries, so I know. He do. It's called it's just, add up. It's exactly. early in the season right now. Yeah, so like. When it get deep in the season, you know that's when people start to get banged mm -hmm. up. Football be getting the football, dude, for real. I'm going to say Niners. Niners. Ah, you got to go Niners over the Eagles, man. And it won't be the Chiefs. Who's another good? Probably the Bills. Uh, I, can't, I can't believe in them. I'm not going to lie. You don't believe in the Bills? I don't believe in the Bills. Really? My AFC pick is probably is the Dolphins, though. Dolphins? Well, I did it like this. <laughs> but I probably got the Dolphins. Dolphins. Because they offers just too nice. Yeah, they are nice. They offer both. Yeah. But like you know, my my pick is the Dolphins and Saints. Who that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rocky, you wanna take us out? <laughs> uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in for the Just a Bad Podcast interview with Mata. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh. Thank you, Mata. Yeah, you appreciate y'all. No, just appreciate y'all for having me. Yeah, you know, sure. I always enjoy doing these with y'all. Uh, thank you for coming to the game. For yeah. Sure. yeah. Appreciate y'all for that. Cool, you every time, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like every time I say, my boy, my, that's how I know it's <laughs> Yeah, so 